Okay, we're live in the studio, reviewing some uh, some of the tape here. We got Crab Got on the line. How's it going? And uh, we just had an excellent game against Edu Kissin. Lame in the house, uh. And I'm over here playing as the beautiful, beautiful Lakota. And it's also on, quite arguably, the uh, worst map of the Africa DLC. You can see I have to, you know, supposedly put on this defense against, uh, you know, the Tower Rush Onslaught. And I have one silver mine, two berry bushes, and one hunt. And these trees are about a mile uphill. And my second hunt is all the way down there or over there. Whichever way you want to look at it. Ain't close. So we're going to go into turbo mode. Boom, 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 boom. So my goal is to age up as fast as possible. And then inside my deck, I'll show you. I've got the anti housel lamer deck, uh, which includes... Uh, lots of uh, towers, improved buildings, etc. But I've got a special trick up my sleeve. I am coming in to snipe the cows. Now, a lot of these house of players will 10 10. Let's see if he did. Yep, 10 10. And he has shipped extra Sanga cattle. And in come my villagers. Dun, 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 One cow down, two cows down. Three cows, four cows, he figures it out, five cows, and we get, yes, ladies and gentlemen, six cows for the price of two villagers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and now the house of player can't sell those cattles for his influence that he was going to try to use to raid me. He no longer can, and uh, from there, uh, it's pretty much history. I'll, I'll speed it up so you can see, yep, uh... You know, I'm not one to really ever flame my opponent, but when you're up against Hausa, I encourage flame early and often. And he has, I guess, either, I think he shipped those or bought additional cattle. But I've decided, you know, I've shipped two War Huts, which also gives them 20% HP. I didn't even realize that recently because I never sent that card. So I've got the Flying T formation here in the base. And then uh, we're just going to chill here and wait. Now, he still has plenty of opportunities to raid me. Um, but here he comes. He saw the War Huts and says, Hey, I ain't going to mess with that. And he's running around, acting like a fool. He's confused. How's the Lammer? Don't know what to do. He's got, he made a few villagers, but he just says no influence is going to be the problem. And at this point, I'm just raiding a few villagers, and I I know that he's itching. He doesn't know how to age. Why would he do that? He is uh, going to just dive into all of these war huts. So you just got to wait for it. And here we go. Here we go. He's he's kill. Oh uh, yeah, I had the stage coach. Just just some distractions. I'm able to get an age up. I never get to age three versus Hasa. That's pretty hard. You actually win the game if you get to age three. You just win. Okay, there we go. And I got the uh, big button at the market. So I got two backpack shipments. And I'm just making Raph Riders for anti cab And Wakina. And we know he's going to be dumb enough to attack. And here he comes. I'll let you enjoy this. And it's full speed. Okay, he runs in. And uh, I'm like a fool. I accidentally moved my Raph Riders to the front line. But I have 33 Wakina right now. Against his 11 Desert Warriors and 9 Dervish that are left here. But these Raph Riders mop up. They essentially counter everything here except for the Dervish. And I set them another easy, naturally. You got to make sure they know that this game has been an easy one for us. And we mop, mop up the rest of the army. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you snipe the seven cow snipe seven cow snipe <laughs> hope you enjoyed